So I have found all the elements of this matrix and this is for v naught I have taken as common 1 0 minus 1 because the WAC was minus 4 v naught and so on. So I have this thing and this I can write equal to 4 times v naught and then this matrix I write is matrix D and then further I can find the characteristic equation of this. So let me do calculate determinant of D minus lambda I characteristic equation and then this is equal to 1 here minus lambda into identity so I will have 1 minus lambda and 0 then minus 1 here the diagonal elements will be just minus lambda and this minus lambda because the identity is 1 0 0 0 1 0 and 0 0 1 minus lambda and 0 similarly this one minus 1 and this 0 and this one is 1 minus lambda so the determinant here it is now complete so I will have the two values here if I select here and here then minus lambda into 1 minus lambda this is one value here lambda into 1 minus lambda okay this is lambda into 1 minus lambda into this 1 minus lambda so 1 minus lambda into this one into this one minus 0 so minus 0 will come a 0 here and then for this next we will have 0 0 and for the third we will have 0 minus plus lambda so it will become minus lambda and minus this one is minus this is plus and minus 1 multiplied with 0 plus lambda and this comes out to be uh, minus lambda minus 1 minus 1 here minus and this okay so 1 minus and plus this is minus 1 minus 1 into this minus this so minus minus plus okay and again this one is minus this one is minus 0 minus lambda because we have minus 1 then 0 minus minus plus and I, another minus so it will make this minus so we have minus lambda into 1 minus lambda square and minus lambda is and this will become plus and this is equal to 0. Now from this equation this is a bit complex that how the roots comes out so I can write that minus lambda and 1 minus lambda square plus lambda equals 0. What does this mean? This means that this term and this term are equal to 0. Now how this is possible? This is possible if this one is equal to this one then it is equal to 0 but this is not possible because here the same lambda is here so it means that we have either lambda equal to 0 either we have lambda equal to 0 then this will become 0 and this will become 0 so we will have lambda equal to 0. The other way possible is that minus lambda 
1 minus lambda square is equal to minus lambda. If I move this to the other side, then there is a cancellation of minus lambda with minus lambda, which implies 1 minus lambda square is equal to plus is equal to 1 plus 1. Then if I square root both sides or I square this one, then this is possible that it can be plus minus 1 whole square. Then the squares are gone and I have 1, this implies 1 minus lambda equal plus minus 1. Then this is equal to minus lambda if I take plus 1 first, 1 minus lambda equal plus 1, then this implies that lambda is equal to 0. This lambda is equal to 0 is from both, but this one is from this one because this one goes here and it becomes 0. Minus lambda equal to 0 means lambda equal to 0. And when 1 minus lambda equal minus 1, then lambda is equal to 2. So we got actually three values here for lambda. Lambda 1 is 0, lambda 2 is 0, lambda 3 is 0. So when we have lambda 1 equal 0, lambda 2 equal 0, lambda 3 equal 0. Are these are the elements, these are the eigenvalues of D. So I can call them D1, D2 and D3. So what about the matrix 4WD? So the first order correction to the values to the energy is 4V0 into 0. So we got 0. 4V0 into 0 we got 0 and this one is 2, lambda 3 is 2 and the third one is basically 4 v naught into 2 is 8 v naught. So these are the first order correction to the triply degenerate state. It means two of those states there is no correction to the energy while the third state is having a correction of 8 v naught. In with this we are concluding this chapter although there are some topics remaining in this one like we are having the fine structure of hydrogen atom, the Z1 effect, the relativistic correction, the spin orbit coupling but uh, they are just like reading material so only their recitation is sufficient in order to go to this how quantum mechanics is handling those things and we will not cover them in our this lecture series. We will from no one is the end of chapter 6 and we will move toward chapter 7 then.